hi, my name is Neil and I'm going to be your instructor for this course on Lean Six Sigma Green Build with Python. This is a unique course because you would learn both Lean Six Sigma and Python from scratch. We all know that data science is a skill in demand and we all know that Python is one of the most popular tools used in data science. While that on one side, on the other side, Lean Six Sigma certification has also been on demand. There's a lot of data that is analyzed in Lean Six Sigma projects. Traditionally, people use other software packages for doing the analysis. But in this course, I'm going to help you take the baby steps both in Lean Six Sigma and in Python. So you would do all the data analysis needed for your Six Sigma project using Python. So this course is for freshers. You don't need to have exposure to either Six Sigma or the Python. We will help you take baby steps in both cases and I'm going to be with you when you're doing that. The way this course is structured is that we will start by installing Python at an appropriate time in the course and then we would start using the various packages of Python and the tools of Python as and when we learn a new concept in Six Sigma. If you're going to learn a new tool for which data analysis is needed, then we would use Python to do that. The file that I'm going to use is something that will be available for you to play around with. You will be able to download it in your computer and play around. At the same time, towards the end of the course, I've packaged one end-to-end -end case study in which I've used Python for complete data analysis. So starting from basic analysis up to modeling, I've done with Python. So as a Six Sigma green belt, at the end of this course, you would be reasonably proficient in Python, particularly from the perspective of data science, and you would be completely proficient as far as Lean Six Sigma Green Bell Book of Knowledge is concerned. So with that note, I'm going to welcome you into this course. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the structure of this course and how you can make a best out of it in the next few minutes. So now let me talk about some of the course features. This will be very useful to you when you are progressing in this course. All put together, there are around 23 sections in this course. And as I mentioned to you earlier, this course is driven through a case study. The case study is called as Clear Calls Case Study. We will introduce this case study in the subsequent lectures. How do we use this case study? In most of the sections, you would find that as and when you learn a tool, there would be a problem or a question to you relating to the case study. You can solve that offline and then you can validate your answer against the solution that is provided in the particular lecture. Let me show you an example now. If I scroll down and go for example to this where we are talking about the define phase, here if you see, we are talking about a problem and we are talking about a solution here. So you could use a template that we have provided you. In this course, we have altogether included 13 templates, Excel based templates. You could download those templates and use that template to answer the question and validate your answer against the solution that we have provided. This way you can refine your learning. In addition to this, at the end of every section, there is a file that is attached called as takeaway file. This is a zip file. If you download it, it will have important notes of all the lectures of that particular section. You can make your own notes, but I'm sure this is going to come very handy for you when you're preparing for certification exams. In addition to that, every section has a quiz and this will help you to self assess yourself and refine your knowledge. Now let me move forward and talk about one of the other important features of this particular course. In every lecture, I have marked whether that particular lecture is easy, medium or difficult. Depending on that, you will be able to decide how you have to dedicate time for it. Sometimes when you're struggling, it might be actually a difficult lecture. You might feel that the whole course is difficult. So few things are difficult and when it is difficult, it will be highlighted. You can pause, spend more time, revisit the videos, thereby 
you will ensure that your learning is complete. In the last lecture, the 23rd lecture details about Lean Six Sigma Green Belt Certification and the next steps are included. I would encourage you to go and check that. Further, for the purpose of your reference, there is a book called The Master Book for Lean Six Sigma Green Belt Certification. The first chapter of that book is included as a resources in this particular lecture. You could click and download that. That has details about what is Six Sigma, how it is used, how it is beneficial, etc. It matches to the curriculum of both IASSC and ASQ. And finally, before we wrap up, I want to mention that this is one of the longest courses for Lean Six Sigma. It has more than 130 lectures. So it's very important for you to sustain your enthusiasm. Make sure you have a plan and you stick to the plan. My recommendation would be that you devote at least two to three hours every weekend in a structured manner and you would be able to complete the course on time. With that note, we're going to wrap up this lecture and see you in the following lectures.